Hi everyone. Today we will look into the uh, memory types which are available on a typical Cisco router RS switch. So we will discuss Cisco memory types and their function. And we will also discuss that how to save the configuration files uh, on the respective memory element. And this picture I have taken from Wikipedia, you can see there. So this is typical hardware of uh, router or switch and there are different memory elements. So we'll be looking at those memory elements. So as a background, we all know that uh, a computer network needs support of hardware devices, so simple. But the functionality of all those network devices depend on its IOs. Like on our personal computer or on our laptop, if we don't have the operating system, then definitely the computer or laptop will not work. Same is the case with Cisco router or switches. We need, a, we need, a, we need an operating system called IOS, Internet Network Operating System. And uh, we have different ways to access the, that operating system on Cisco router, and this is a typical screenshot of uh, the IOS. And this IOS actually facilitate the operation of the hardware. So if we want that hardware to work for us, then we need the operating system, simple. But we need commands. So IOS is a facilitator, but we need specific commands to direct the router to perform its job. For example, if we have the router, we have the IOS, but we don't, we haven't configured any routing protocol there. We haven't given any IP, inter, IP address to any of the interface. And of course the router will not work as per our requirement. It means we also need the commands and those commands are stored in configuration files. So these are the files which are actually storing these all commands. And to store those uh, commands, we have configuration files. And uh, there are two types of configuration files. One is known as running configuration file. And the second, uh, second is the startup configuration file. And the running configuration file is a file which actually holds the commands which are controlling the current operation of the router. So I'm going to emphasize, they are going to control the current operation of the router, whatever router is doing now. So all the commands which are controlling the current operation of the router are stored in the running configuration file. On the other hand, the startup configuration file holds the backup command, which are loaded when the router or, or switch is started or when it is reloaded. So the main difference is that in running configuration files, if you are going to make any changes on real time, those commands will be saved in the running configuration file. As soon as the power is lost, we will lose everything. But in the startup configuration file, this file actually holds the commands which will not be lost even if the power is lost. So they are somehow the stored in some permanent memory. And so IOS as well as, well as those configuration files which are holding our commands, they need some storage so that we can save them so different uh, storage um, types which we will be discussing today. So there are four types of memory elements found on a typical Cisco router or a switch. First type of memory which is available in, in a typical Cisco router or switch is known as RAM, random access memory, or dynamic RAM, and it, it stores the running configuration of the file. So running configuration of the router are saved in the RAM. If you remember, we, remember, we, we mentioned in the previous slide that running configuration are the um, configuration are, are this holds the commands which actually are going to control the 
active operation of the router, our current operation of the router. And if you want to see the running commands of a router, so whatever currently used configuration commands are there, we have a command, we can use that command to look into the running configuration of a router and this command is shown there. So we can use this command to see the running configuration of a router. Uh, so you can use that command in the Cisco uh, packet tracer. You can have this this kind of window. And uh, if the power is lost, the router is uh, is reloaded. The contents of uh, RAM are also lost because RAM is a, is a random access memory. This is a temporary memory. So whatever you are going to do, if the power is lost, or the router is reloaded, all of the contents are of RAM will be lost. Second type of memory which is found in a typical Cisco router or switch is ROM, read-only memory. And this memory stores the bootstrap program. This is important, the boost bootstrap program. And this is loaded when a switch, a router turns on. And then this bootstrap actually searches for the actual IOS. So what happens when, when you boot a router? It, it, it needs a program that is called bootstrap program. And now this is the responsibility of the bootstrap program to find out the IOS or the operating system of the router. Third type of memory which is available in router or switch is known as flash. And this flash actually stores the IOS. So the actual IOS, our internet operating system, is stored in the flash. And this flash can also be used for, for um, storing other files if needed. But the main purpose of the flash memory is to hold IOS, operating system. So I'm going to say, RAM has a bootstrap program. And this bootstrap program actually searches for the IOS but this IOS is actually available in the flash memory of the, of the, of the router. So we can store this IOS to, to some other locations as well, but at the moment that we have a flash memory and that flash memory is going to store the IOS. So this is a picture of flash memory. And finally, we have NVRAM that stands for non-volatile random access memory. And this memory, and this memory element actually stores the startup configuration files. So when the switch starts, or when the switch is reloads, or when the switch is turned on, then this is the memory location from where the router will fetch, or the router will retrieve the initial configuration and on the basis of those initial configuration, router will start working. So if you remember, in the in the RAM we have the so this is there in the RAM we have the running configuration file, and in the NVRAM we have the startup configuration file. And these these are lost if the power is lost, this is gone. But here in this type of memory. Even if the power is lost, we will not lose our commands. They will be there. They will be saved there. Now, if you want to see that what, what is there in, this, in that startup configuration file, then we have a command provided by Cisco. So that is show startup config. So by using this command, we can see what, what kind of commands are already saved in this configuration file. And if you want to erase, we can also erase the startup configuration files or the contents of, a startup, uh, of the startup configuration files by using this simple command that erase. So this will delete the startup configuration file of, of, of a system device. And uh, now the thing is that uh, the RAM or the dynamic RAM stores the running configuration file which are lost which are lost when the power is gone 
and nvren is a memory which holds our uh, configuration for 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 a longer period or for permanently so we need a mechanism to store or to save those files or the commands which are in the running configuration file to the startup configuration file because if the power is lost even then in that situation we should be able to retrieve those commands so how to do that so for that we can save all the running configuration files to the to the uh, startup configuration files or we can we can move the contents of the ram to nvren and for that we have a command that is uh, that's not show sorry for that this is this is not there just a copy running config in the startup config so only copy running config space startup config in this way all the files or all the commands sorry all the commands which are available in the running configuration they will be saved in the startup configuration files so this will be transferred all of the contents from the ram will be transferred to the nvren and the nvren will hold those commands for long for for, for longer period for permanently not longer period but permanently until and unless you delete them or erase them now now actually have a quick look on what 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 we have discussed today so take a router from device uh, type device selection box so this is a router click command line interface router is looking for the ios and it will load the ios for us and will ask the question for initial configuration so this yes Oh, sorry. This is no. Would you like to change it? Let's see. <clears throat> so let's have a quick look uh, on what we have done or we have discussed today. So take a router, okay? Command line interface. Uh, router is uh, uh, loading its operating system. And uh, we have the uh, initial configuration dialog. We say no, and then press enter. We are in the uh, user mode, uh, user exit mode, enable uh, privilege mode. And here we can see the show. We can use the show running config for instance. Show, and then we can just press tab, enter. So these are the running configuration. If I just sorry, so I just maximize it, then we can see this is the running configuration here, and the tab. And to see the startup configuration, you can see show uh, and if uh, if star and tab, star up tab and enter. So we don't have any in. Uh, at the moment, we don't have a startup configuration file, so this is not present. It's not showing. Uh, so, for example, if we change the host name, and for that, if you remember, we can go to country uh, to global configuration mode, and then there was a command host name, newbie. So we have changed the name of the host, and now if you want to save, so this host name has been changed, and this command. Uh, this this setting is only there in the RAM, in the running configuration. They are not saved in the startup configuration. So at this time, if the power is lost, the router will not save this new name, that is new B. So the router's new name, that's new B, that will not be there, that will be lost. And so we can use the command that is copy, but for that we need to exit, we need to go to the privilege mode, then copy, and running config to uh, so this is startup config and enter again enter now our running configuration files are running running configuration commands have been saved to the startup configuration files and to check that you can see the like you can run the command show startup configuration and enter and now you can see this is your startup configuration and we can see the new name of this router that is new b so we have saved this 
Now, if the power is lost, whatever commands or whatever things we have done, that will be saved in the startup configuration. So, this is how we can see the running configuration, we can see the startup configuration, and we can copy the running configuration commands into the startup configuration so that if the power is lost, still we will have those commands in, in the startup configuration file. So you can practice it by yourself and uh, this will be very much helpful for you. You should practice it. Mm, so that's it for today. Thank you. Thank you very much.